be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. Wise men speak because they have something to say, fools because they have to say something. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. Only the dead have seen the end of war. I am the wisest man alive, for I know one thing, and that is that I know nothing. Never discourage anyone who continually makes progress, no matter how slow. Strange times are these in which we live when old and young are taught falsehoods in school, and the person that dares to tell the truth is called at once a lunatic and a fool. How can you prove whether at this moment we are sleeping and all our thoughts are a dream, or whether we are awake and talking to one another in the waking state? Bodily exercise, when compulsory, does no harm to the body, but knowledge which is acquired under compulsion obtains no hold on the mind. Excellence is not a gift, but a skill that takes practice. We do not act rightly because we are excellent. In fact, we achieve excellence by acting rightly. Good actions give strength to ourselves and inspire good actions in others. I thought to myself, I am wiser than this man. Neither of us probably knows anything that is really good, but he thinks he has knowledge when he has not, while I, having no knowledge, do not think I have. There is, in every one of us, even those who seem to be most moderate, a type of desire that is terrible, wild, and lawless. To be afraid of death is only another form of thinking that one is wise when one is not. It is to think that one knows what one does not know. No one knows with regard to death whether it is not really the greatest blessing that can happen to man, but people dread it as though they were certain it is the greatest evil. True friendship can exist only between equals. All I really know is the extent of my own ignorance. Lack of activity destroys the good condition of every human being. In order for man to succeed in life, God provided him with two means, education and physical activity not separately, one for the soul and the other for the body, but for the two together, with these means man can attain perfection. Knowledge becomes evil if the aim be not virtuous. To conquer oneself is the best and noblest victory, to be vanquished by one's own nature 
is the worst and most ignoble defeat.